Lagos arguably has the highest rate of rural urban migration in the world. The population of Lagos being a mega city therefore requires government's response in terms of providing the necessary infrastructure to meet this demand. What is the Lagos State Government doing differently in applying PPP to its developmental programs? What we are doing now is to make sure that uh, we, we effectively protect you know, investment through legal means. Uh, you have a lot of clauses built in the agreement to make sure that uh, once you have an investment in Lagos State, uh, regardless of which government is in power you know, and your investment is guaranteed, the sanctity of investment is forever protected. That is very, very important. The number two is the fact that Lagos State also contributes, for instance, in terms of maybe equity, uh, maybe land, or so on and so forth to your investment. And the one thing that does for you is that it gives confidence to your investor because you also have a stake in that investment. It gives confidence to the investor. Uh, and even if another government comes in, they will understand the fact that you are a partaker in that. And government is continuous. It doesn't matter which government is there. But more importantly is the need to build institutions. And that is one thing we are spending a lot of money on, to develop strong democratic institutions. When you have that one in, this, in, in the state, that is in Nigeria as a whole, well, Lagos in particular, uh, you, you eliminate the risk of, you know, uh, personified or personalized politics or personalized deliverance that, oh, this investment will only be there because this particular governor is in power. No. Once you build institutions, those are the institutions that will drive the investment. The private sector should know that we are all partners in progress. They should know there should not there will be mutual respect and understanding between the private and the public sector people. Private sector should not see public sector participants as being corrupt. They should see us as partners in progress. If we don't work together, definitely economic growth will be will be deterred. So we must come together. They must see us that we are ready for them. The government is ready to provide infrastructure and whatever is needed to make private sector participation work smoothly. From the thoughts provided by these experts, synergy between the public and private sector in the provision of goods and services should be seen as a mutual responsibility. Government on its part should make public-private partnership work by putting in place appropriate legislation to protect investors. Finally on the program, here are highlights of other activities that took place in the past week. The Lagos State Government at the weekend paid 142 million naira insurance claim to 69 families of deceased staff in the state civil service through Lasaco Assurance PLC. The beneficiaries include families of deceased staff of local government and the State Universal Basic Education Board, SUBEB. The payment of the insurance package to the deceased staff families was in line with the state governor's commitment to the welfare of public servants in the state. The state government promised that the contributory pension scheme and the terminal benefits of the deceased staff would also be paid to their families. This is the second in the street. The last one came up in 2013. And we are having another one, 2016. The diseased, they have children, they have properties. They should use the money to cater for them. They should not misuse the money. It's to cover this for the children, the people left behind by the deceased. The purpose of this uh, second batch is to bring uh, Lagos State, Lagos State employees, uh, the the citizens of the state as a whole closer to the insurance industry. Uh, it is known that the penetration of the insurance sector is only 9%, less than Kenya and a lot of even African countries. So the purpose of this uh, 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 pali is to create an awareness that insurance companies don't only collect premium. We do settle our claims, especially LASACO. And we want to further establish our relationship with the Lagos State Government. It depends on the contribution. It's all calculated. It's not, uh, I can't tell you exactly what an individual will get, but um, everybody got what is due to them. This is what we've been waiting for for a very long time. Uh, the first one was uh, done 2013, there about. And ever since then, we've been looking up to this day. But today, we thank God. Here, yeah, I, I finally have it. 
that's where we'll draw the curtain on this week's edition of the program. Let's continue the conversation on our social media platform showing on your screen. Until same time next week, I am BC Adebayo. Bye for now.